another edition of Weird Stuff That I Own. Anyways, today we are going to talk about Boris. Who is Boris, you might ask? Well, let me show you. This is Boris. Hello, Boris. He lives on the wall here in my living room underneath all of these things on my hearse table. But it's too fucking dark over here to talk about him, so I'm gonna go film him over there. Hang on. And I'm back. It's just me and Boris. So you might notice he's uh, <laughs> kind of not in the best shape. There's the weirdest story of how I found this guy. I was leaving work one night. It was not super dark out, but you know, like the end of the day, sort of like afternoon twilight type time. And outside my store, there was a Rubbermaid tub. And I almost walked right by it. I was just like, whatever, like people like leaving garbage or dishes or whatever. And then I looked in it and I thought to myself, is that a taxidermy Boris head? And then it was, and it was. So I took him home. I'm like, clearly this guy's coming home with me, but he was in like bad, he was in bad shape. You'll see here. Can you see that right there? He has monster fur glued to his face. And on this side, you can see that side a little better, monster fur glued to his face because his whole face was split open. Like this was all split up here on both sides. He had like splits like in the top of his, his ear and like under his chin and stuff. There was like a whole bunch of cracks and like fur missing and stuff. So not that I am a taxidermy repair artist, but uh, I've repaired some weird shit in my life. So I'm like, I got this, whatever. So I bought a tube of black silicone and some black monster fur and uh, I fixed him up. I think he looks beautiful with his monster fur mutton chops, such a stylish gentleman. And I noticed he was missing one of his teeth. One of his big teeth right here was completely gone. And I was like, fuck, oh, God damn it. And I went back the next morning and it was in the, the Rubbermaid tub. I was like, what are the chances that it's still gonna be in here? And then it was. And then it was, I guess no one wanted a wooden boar tusk overnight. So it was still there when I got back. So I glued it back into his mouth and I had to fix all in here. His gums were all ripped open and stuff, but I fixed it all. And he looks beautiful. And he had this wooden plaque on the back of him. I think this is like someone did this at home for sure. Cause this is, this is original, these holes and screws and stuff. Believe me, he will not hang on the wall. You cannot physically make him hang on the wall with that. It doesn't work. He falls off and wrecks your shit. I found that out the hard way. So I had to screw in this chain and these bolts so that he's more secure on the wall and he can hang like that and not go anywhere and crash into all of your things. So, and you know, I had to name him Boris. Like, you know, I had to. So, ta-da, ta-da. Why was he in a Rubbermaid tub outside my store? I have no fucking idea. Was it a drive-by taxidermying? Something someone didn't want anymore? But now he's mine. He's mine and he lives in my living room, so. You know, it's never a bad day at work when you end the day and there's surprise taxidermy outside your door. Like, that's all right. That's all right. So, ta-da! Just me and Boris. And I hope you liked it. I hope you like Boris. Boris likes you. And if you did like this video, if you could give it a thumbs up, that would be wonderful. If you want to subscribe to my channel, Boris would really like that. He would really like it if you would subscribe to my channel. That would be amazing. If you want to ring the bell for notifications, you can get notifications for when I do more weird stuff that I own videos. And uh, yeah, if you want to follow me on social media, Boris doesn't have social media, but I do. So if you want to follow me, I'm under Madame underscore Absinthe on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, Instagram is mostly outfit pictures and stuff. Twitter is mostly weird shit. I actually posted Boris on there when I found him. If you scroll back, you'll be able to see, I did post Boris on Twitter when I found him and what he looked like with all the cracks in his face. Um, yeah. So please like, please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, follow me on social media, and hopefully I will be able to film more installments of ah, weird stuff that I own for you shortly.